Hi everyone and welcome back. I, I wanted to jump on real quickly and share with you um, another folio I made. So I posted a video, uh, a walkthrough and a tutorial of my Fall Breeze um, folio that I did. It was It's my latest uh, design team project for Country Craft Creations and yeah, I just loved it so much. It's just so cute. Look, it just fits so well in my hand. <laughs> Actually, I just love it. So um, I made this with the Fall, Bree Fall Breeze paper collection that's exclusive to Country Craft Creations. It's the only place you can get it. Um, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at it. Oh, love it. Um, so you could get the seam binding at Country Craft. Um, I got the buttons that you see here, the leaves and the acorn. Um yeah, I believe this acorn as well. All the paper. This is the artisan cardstock and craft. Um, you can go back and take a look at that video. Um, I think I posted it Wednesday. Might have been Thursday. Can't remember. But anyway, just a couple days ago. So um, that was my fall one. So yes, I know I'm a couple of days behind here. <laughs> as today is is today November 5th um, and Halloween was about six days ago um, and that shows you how far behind I am so anyway I took this exact same tutorial and I just used black artisan cardstock and um, the little monsters paper collection uh, the Halloween papers that are also exclusive to country craft creations um, and I made the exact same folio the only thing I changed is this one has a belly band where this one has a seam binding or a ribbon closure. Um, so some things that I did, I'll move this all of the way. There we go. I still don't know how to use this thing yet. <laughs> I need to figure that out. Anyway, so this, again, this one was Fall Breeze. This one is Little Monsters. Uh, this is one of the 4 by 6 cut-aparts here on the cover. It says Fright This Way, which I just love it. Look at the ghosties. Um, and the little bats with the or the black and orange bats. Um, what I did was add some... I don't know if you, Can you see it there? Um, sorry for the glare, guys. I'm still figuring out the stupid light. Um, there is a gold, a green, and an orange... Um, little sequins that I added just to give it a little bit of bling. Um, I created a belly band. You can see here this is the belly band just to help hold it closed. Um, to be honest, I forgot to glue down my seam binding uh, before I put the pattern paper on so I had to come up with something. And that's what I came up with. So and then I also I also made this cute little it's just a little paper clip. I got these on from somebody on Etsy, I don't recall, but it has like this little attachment at the top where you can uh, put buttons or cabochons or something. I just kind of decorated it up a little bit. Um, so my friend Pam, which all the scrapbookers know Froggy, um, she gave me this little, it's not little, it's big, a little bucket of buttons. Um, and they have all different kind of fall themed and Christmas buttons in there. So um, I pulled a couple out that, that I thought went well with the paper. And um, there's the pumpkin with the bat. Uh, these two buttons or these two um, jack-o'-lanterns. And then just a green and a white button to pull out the green and the white. Um, yeah, and the spider web. This is a button. It's huge. That's my thumbnail. <laughs> That's a huge button. And just added it on there. I was going to put a dangle one. But, um, oops, sorry, I was going to put a dangle on the side of the book, but that made getting the belly band on harder. So, anyway, so for the belly band, well, before we get to that, so this is the front. Love the spider web paper. Um, those are my two one-inch spines. The back matches the front. Um, this is the belly band. So, again, this is just black artisan cardstock, um, and it is a fantastic weight. Um, you can see how it's not flimsy by any means, um, and this paper, this paper is to die for. It's it's smooth. I think it's Bristol Bristol vellum cardstock, something like that. Um, but yeah, so I just made super quick belly band. This is a four by six cut apart. I popped it up on some. Oh, you can't see. Oh, yep. Yeah, see the foam dots there. I don't have any black ones, so yeah. 
So very, very cute. So just like the other book, this opens out like this. And look at this paper, trick or treat, candy collectors welcome. <laughs> yeah, so there's the first flap. And this, so I called this, um, this section is L1 in my tutorial. Opens up, and I don't have many tags or anything in here yet, but I will add some. Um, look, at I love the paper. I don't know, is that Sally? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, he says, yes, I can drive a stick, which, no, I really can't, but, you know. So anyway, so there's that pocket, and then over here is just like a larger waterfall. Um, I believe this is like four and a half by seven and seven eighths. Uh, did I glue that down? Nope, I left this open so that you can slide your photo underneath. Um, did the same over here. Oh, these are the, this, these are the cut aparts that's in the cut aparts and tags page. Uh, this collection had these already cut out so I didn't have to fussy cut or use my brother scan and cut to cut those. So that was fantastic. Um, so I left this blank in case you wanted to journal. Um, I think it would be really cool to get a white pen or a gold pen um, and do some journaling. And so, or you could slide your photo back here. This says, I don't know if you could see it, trick or treat, all witches are welcome, eat, drink, and be scary. <laughs> you witches are welcome. <laughs> So um, this one has a key and some black kitties. Um, black cats dressed as pumpkins, I think it's hysterical. Um, and it says, hello in. Then here's another one of the tags, uh, cut aparts, sorry. It says, dead and breakfast, sleep, sleepy hollow. I love this paper, this is gorgeous. And then this one says witchy and wild. And I just realized I did not finish this off with um, here on the half inch, the half inch um, tab for the waterfall. I forgot to add my little pattern paper. Um, here, this is just one big piece. Uh, love this. Um, sorry, lost my train of thought. There's the moon. It's like an orange moon with a ghosty and it says boo and bats everywhere and that's just my little closure there I used the magnet close it up there and then so this is the right side this says right one you can see the paper there isn't that gorgeous the orange and white gingham um, and then there's the crescent moon with the owl some of them are scary some of them are cute and the spooky black tree so this one, I made a mistake on the center part. It's supposed to have two flaps that attach to the spine and fold over. I realized about 10 minutes ago that I forgot to put the flaps on. They're sitting over there on my desk. So, um, but I had already put down the pattern paper. So I think I'm gonna skip it on this one. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but for this, we have a gusseted pocket. I, I personally do not like clowns. I think they're creepy. This is a creepy clown. No offense, Tammy, but that is creepy. <laughs> but he's a hobo. You know how hobos walk with a stick and all their earthly possessions are on the stick? He has a pumpkin. <laughs> um, and then this little cut apart says apothecary shop, potions, elixirs, balms, and tonics. And then this, I just made a cute little booklet here. Again, some of my little Halloween buttons from Froggy that just worked perfectly. One is a cauldron and one is a jack-o'-lantern. So this one says, Witch's Brew, open 24 hours, coffee house, stop in for a spell. And so I just took some white paper. Yep, and then I just made a little booklet with some orange and white baker's twine. And that slides in there. Then over here, we have another little tiny three, three by four cut aparts. There's one, two, three, four of them. You can see here, trick or treat. Because what I was talking about, I forgot to finish off the other waterfall with that piece that just kind of hides all the, the workings of the waterfall. October 31. Gone haunting, will return at midnight. Ghosty. 
and, and Sally, she just won't stop appearing. Anyway, so then I just put another magnet there. This is one of the cut aparts. I think it's a square, a scarecrow with a jack-o'-lantern head. Over here, um, this is just another one of those um, paper clips. I added uh, one of the cut aparts, or one of the, yeah, one of the cut aparts. And then this is another one of the four by six journaling cards, home of which, home of which werewolf and her little monsters. <laughs> you can't, I don't know, you can't tell on my screen, maybe your computer's different, but this is actually green and white. And it looks gray and gray and black and white on my screen. Anyway, here's another one of the cut aparts. There's a pocket. Love this little banner here. And then this, the center is a, um, what was I, what do I call this? Like a stair step belly band, kind of. There's a larger belly band that you can put a larger tag inside, and then you can also slide a smaller one, so, or a double belly band, we call it. So this page just says October 31. I think this is just a five by seven. And then this is a five and a half by seven and a half, I think with the, uh, the cats inside the jack-o'-lantern and the jack-o'-lantern scarecrow. And they just slide in here. There's plenty of room for additional photos. Um, this tag says Black Cat, Black Cat Apothecary Powers and Elixirs, established 1645. So that's my little folio. This goes back here. You can put it wherever you want it. Wait, where does this go? This goes here. Just wanted to show it to you because it's, I think, adorable. And I was so bummed that I missed Halloween crafting. Whoops. Okay, I think I broke it. I missed Halloween crafting, so I wanted to come on and share. I did, actually, I did this last night while we were on the Zoom group, the Zoom with the scrapbookers on the scrapbookers page. Um, so yeah, so there it is. I just love how you could use any paper collection, any paper, you can change the colors up on the papers and it's just gorgeous. And it's, it comes together really quickly. Um, so thanks for humoring me. Thanks for allowing me to share my Halloween and I will be back shortly with another project. Um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.